All right, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be the second part of the Rebo Point 3D scanner where I show you how I made this guy. Yes, it's wearing a wig cap because I don't really think it can do black yet. My hair is kind of black right now, so I put this on. But anyway, we'll get into all that coming up. For those that don't know, this is how it comes. This is the phone stand. I'm recording with the phone I use for light, but this would go on there. You would put this one to this one, and you would connect the 3D scanner to this part. But I'm not going to use that today. This is just for demonstration purposes. So this goes into here. Like so, nice and good. Okay. That way I can pivot if I have to. Okay, next you're gonna need the wire. USB C to micro USB. USB. Alright, you need this one. Alright, here we go. I put my iPhone on the iPhone holder or the phone holder and I'm going to raise it all the way up as high as it'll go. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same box that it came in to raise it up even higher. That way I'm sure to get the top of my head. Now you might be able to see too near, excellent, good, too far. I want to be close enough to where I'm in excellent shape or excellent distance okay here goes I'm gonna hit the play button and then when I get around I'm gonna take a box away Now I'll start lowering the tripod. What would happen? Point cloud fusing. Looks horrible right there. I messed up. I gotta remember to put this closer to me, not further away. But let's keep our fingers crossed. Let's see what happens. Tripod. Look at that. And I didn't even finish the mesh yet. See, that was the thing with the different levels. I did that to incrementally go low. Now is it perfect? No, I could have did it again. But all right, I'm back. I turned off the light. Maybe you can see a little better now. This is after the final mesh. Look at that. Get 
Use a little, lose a little weight, maybe. But look at that, my method works. This is without me doing any of the manuals. Now, before I was cut off, I was saying how that's why I used a wood cap, and I have experience with a connect. Move you over a little bit. All right. Forgive the paint job, but this is the best I could do with a connect. Couldn't get the bottom by myself. And this was also wearing a wig cap. I just gave myself a, uh, a hairdo and I couldn't get the top, so I just filled in the top. Now, here's my same pretty similar scan I showed you of the big head printed and painted. Now, like I, I'm not a painter, this is just acrylic paints, no primer, no nothing. But you could see the detail is. Night and day. This with was was with a connect with connect with the paid version. This one. And this was the Revo point. I mean, if you don't really need a lot of detail, connect is okay. This I just wanted a little better than I than I could. I could have had my eyes open up, but I didn't. Messed up. But the ears are. Came out really nice. These are just look like a, a MMA fighter. And somebody asked me, well, gee, where did I put my big head? What did you go and print this for? The answer is cosplay. Now I could see that I printed this. I know it fits. I got the 3D model on my computer that I could always refer to and fit things to it. This is a uh, Do 3D's Winter Soldier mask. And I even printed out the goggles. I want to try and do this in flexible filament, but that's for another time. Anyway. If you wanted to scan yourself, Revo Point's the way to go. I wasn't given this. I was on there, I think it was Kickstarter. And it's well worth the money. I think it was 200 I don't know if it's still 200 now after the Kickstarter. It might be on demand still, I'm not sure. But this was only, I think, 156 grams. It's hollow. I think it's only like one layer, and then it's all... No infill. Anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe, share this if you liked it. If you'd like to see anything scanned, just leave it down below in the comments. Have a good one.